Hey, welcome back. It's Lord Hyper Stamper. I just finished this one a little while ago and I love it. It is an antique book from 1911, uh, The Singer of the Kootenai. Now, if you love the image with the sunset and the mountain peaks here, but you don't want the title, I can certainly cover that up with, um, you know, I'll find a piece of crochet or not this one, but uh, something like that. I can cover it up and add some embellishments there, or you can leave it au naturel. I've got the corner protectors on here, and I've added a removable bangle made of vintage beads. Really cool ones too. So a couple of different types there, some gold chain and ribbon. It's got the original spine that I have not pierced, and it has that beautiful worn back. And I want to desperately show you this journal. So this one is five and, sorry, five and a quarter by seven and three quarters. Let's go inside. So I wanted to show you this one here is a pocket made from the book itself, The Singer of the Kootenai, and I've made a sweetheart pocket here, and I'm tucking into it this uh, photograph from the 1930s, and that is our friend Joan, who if you follow me, you know she I have her family's photo album, because uh, her family discarded it. They didn't I don't I don't I don't want to know why it makes me sad, but she's going to many good homes across North America. And this is a, a wonderful Demers Family Magazine on communications in the 1890s. So we've got here um, some, uh, gosh, who knows what that is? Oh, like by megaphone. And then here is the building of the Eiffel Tower. How cool is that? Which was meant to be sort of like a satellite um, thing. <laughs> And I tucked that in this side, and then on the other side, I'm tucking in this wonderful English um, Brighton postcard from uh, the 1950s that was sent to some lovely person. And then this just came out of a 1940s McCall's magazine, and I just thought it was really fun. $1.88 for five issues. And you can journal on the front and back of that. So I'm gonna take that whole quadruple pocket and tuck it right into this lovely little corner tuck here which is a, a children's book image. So these are the original first pages of the book, which I always try to keep intact because everything in here is authentic, original and antique ephemera, except for just a few tea dyed pages I added. There's the original publisher's date there, 1911. And when you go to my Etsy shop, you'll notice that all of my journals, uh, I do not charge for shipping uh, throughout North America. So that's a little bonus. And they're extremely, probably too reasonably priced, as I understand it. But um, I, a lot of this stuff I am gifted, so I'm happy to pass the savings on to my, my friends who purchase my journals. This is a bunch of antique and vintage stamps. These are particular ones came out of the Japanese page, so Japan from this 1950s stamp collector's book. And this came out of an, the early 1900s black velvet book with a, this famous illustration here and antique paper on the back for journaling. Vintage botanical pages. And this one's the fruit blossoms. So I think that's beautiful. Lucky person who gets this journal. This is knitting and crocheting for baby blankets and such. So kind of sweet. I made this pocket from the Finland book of the postage stamp book. And here are two banknotes. They just sort of, sort of God, they feel like money. They, uh, they've never really changed that beautiful texture. This one's from 1924, and this one's from the early, uh, early, probably the 1920s, because this one expires in 100 years, which is kind of cool. Here we go. Here, this came from the 1905 art decoration uh, book, and it's how to draw these thistles. And more over here, all different ways to draw them. I love that. 1955 Polish embroidery book. And lovely, lovely photograph here and here. That's stunning. Look at this. Is that art book again. Look at the, oh my gosh, decorative initial letter. Like just so much fun. And this is just a little booklet I made out of antique paper scraps. I don't like to throw them away if they're, if they're pretty. <laughs> and the cover is made out of a vintage watercolor book. And there, oh, there's that Snuggly and Cuddly Children's Knitting. More wonderful botanical book pages, Blossoms. And this is a really cool page I pulled from a 1956 uh, book. It had an inscription here. It is in a different language, and I don't know what the language is. But I could find out if somebody wanted to know. Try to throw it into Google Translate. 
And this is from an early 1900s book, lovely image there, and that is a Pygmalion and an antique book page on the back for journaling and made this little pocket out of Tony's scrapbook page in the 40s and a 1940s vintage pocket dictionary page. These two little kind of brittle antique uh, book page pieces. Just thought it was cute. Tucked them in there and I folded this over so you could see this entire image of all of these little elves, I think, elfish people. A beautiful California troubadour uh, poetry book. This is a vintage piece of uh, cotton here that is stitched into a beautiful decorative pattern, a 1938 June Paris, France almanac page, double-sided, really cool. Throw it to Google Translate to see uh, the really cool satire that they use. Sunday Reading for the Young from the 1890s, a lovely, lovely poem here on the dancing class. More poetry, and look at this, the leprechaun or fairy shoemaker. Isn't that sweet? It's really quite cool. I love it. That's from 1937. And this is also from 1930s children's book here. Uh, good morning, good king. Good morning, good queen. And I added some anti paper there for you to journal. Just fun, 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 fun. Friends in feathers and fur. Little Charlie Chipmunk. I love chipmunks. I love squirrels. I put them in whenever I can. There's a fairy book page, hidden journaling spot. With... Oh no, sorry. This one has a clipper image. I didn't want to cover it. This one has the journaling spot. This is a hand type from the early 1900s for the government who tracked um, the news uh, by telegram. So they would type up all the telegrams that they that came in. And this is one of them. And it's very cool about America and Canada. And this is an inscription on a book from 1937 uh, from a mom to her daughter, Eleanor. Antique music sheet to 1950s receipts here, Pearl Shop and a dairy products one. This is a page from an 1800s marbled uh, insert in a book. Probably the first page of the book. 1957 Beacon Lodge attendance log, a vintage 1970s pattern pouch. And in here I have a 1950s full half page um, needlepoint page with great illustrations, a vintage recipe in here on candy, and a vintage glassing envelope with antique and vintage stamps in it for you to play with, 1950s theater arts magazine page, oh I know I'm talking fast, I just don't want the video to go too long, vintage sewing instruction page, a 1970s uh, vintage playing card, uh, look up on uh, Google Images what to do with upcycled vintage playing cards, it's really fun. And this is from the 1920s, this newspaper article. Look at her fashion, it's fantastic. And she's got this lovely collie. And on the other side, it's a lady in her garden. That I found behind a photograph in a frame. Fun neat. Little um, crocheted pocket here, vintage atlas page, vintage recipe book page, another one of these fantastic uh, images from the 1890s Sunday Reading for the Young. Plates from an art book, I will, I'd be happy to provide the artist's name because I forget right now and the book's across the room. And that is one of the night guardsmen dials that would have clocked their hours worked. And a lovely children's book page here with the, the bra, or not a robin, a bird, another bird in the nest. And the wonderful poem that goes with that. And this is the last page of the original book, the end. So I'm putting that up on Etsy now, hyperstamper.etsy.com. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.